Hey, what is going on, you mudbathing murkrow? Today, we're playing with some Urshifu Rapid Strike, but it's in Expanded. And uh, this deck is basically a mix of Archie Stois and Tina Chomp, kind of, with uh, taking a little bit from both of those decks. So we're using the Rapid Strike style Mustard, which says we can take a Rapid Strike Pokemon from our discard pile and put it onto our bench, if it's the only card in our hand, if the Rapid Strike style Mustard is the only card in our hand. So like Archie's, very similar to that. So we get down to just this in our hand, um, facing Trainer's Mail, we got Ultra Balls, Quick Balls, Battle Compressor to set that up, and then we put the Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX onto our bench. Now that that's on our bench, we try and get a Rapid Strike Energy onto it, as well as utilizing the Coco Prism with the Dance of the Ancients, we try and put a Lightning Energy ideally onto this and a Urshifu V, so that way next turn we can do the same thing where we use G Max Rapid Flow on our first turn. So we choose to go second, turn one, Rapid Strike style mustard, get the Urshifu onto the bench, attach the Rapid Strike energy, Coco to the Rapid Strike style <laughs> or the Rapid Strike Urshifu, and then we can turn one G Max Rapid Flow. That's basically the whole deck. From what I've played with it, it's been okay. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's not like insane that we get to do this turn one, um, but it's been a ton of fun to try and pull it off. And we got a couple other cards in here that make it uh, a lot more impactful on the game. We've got Target Whistle, so we can put Pokemon on our opponent's bench that we can then pick off with the G Max Rapid Flow. And then we also have the Wide Lens, which says we can apply weakness to the bench Pokemon that we hit. So we can knock out stuff like Dedenne or Crobat. And if they're not on our opponent's bench, we could target whistle them to our opponent's bench and then knock them out. Uh, we also have a silent lab in here because if our opponent is playing Mew or Mr. Mime, uh, Fairy or Psychic Mr. Mime, we can shut off that ability and then snipe the bench with the, once again, G Max Rapid Flow. <laughs> and that's the deck. Like I said, it's 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 been a ton of fun to play to try and pull off the combo. How good is it? I don't really know yet. It's been solid. You know, nothing too game breaking or ridiculous, um, but it's a lot. It's a really cool attack. And it's a lot of damage you can do on your first turn, um, especially when you can split it up and knock out possibly multiple Pokemon. It can be a pretty big deal and pretty devastating to our opponent's setup, especially if we get to go second and they didn't get to hold, do a whole ton on their first turn. So yeah, anyways, that's the list. Let's go ahead and let's uh, get into some games. All right, here we go, getting into our first one. We did lose the coin flip, but sometimes they will choose to go first, and this is one of those times. Now, we do have to be a little bit afraid because they could be playing Donk. Uh, our opening hand... I think has the turn one here. Quick ball away, great catcher, ultra ball away. Uh, maybe not quite. And it looks like we're up against, huh? Rowlet won't executor. So we can go ultra ball away these two. Okay, so we do have the turn one here. So I think I'm gonna start with trainer's mail. Grab ourselves battle compressor. Yeah, battle compressor. Now we can use the via seeker instead. Go ahead and play the battle compressor of the egg so we don't want to use the big attack we're just gonna go with the smaller attack off the start here then Two energy you know we got to get rid of a rapid strike mustard so mustard energy execute seems correct to me um we have to get rid of an urshifu v max but well maybe i do want to go like this instead then we'll have to get rid of the energy on another battle compressor later on like this and then Let's see egg is gonna go egg because they do want to set up the dawn wings kind of so i think i'm gonna go that route um and we don't have to use coco like we don't have to use coco let's just go ahead and play this we don't have to use coco turn one um i'm gonna go ahead and put the lightnings in the discard pile though possibly use it so let's get rid of those lightning energy a couple lightnings and what else do we just like not need anymore all the supporters, I think, should say as supporters because our opponent is playing Rattle Lone Executor. So, kind of want the supporters as supporters in our deck. I think I'm just going to get rid of the Double Lightning here. And then maybe a Battle Compressor, to be honest. This The one thing about this deck is we don't utilize compressor, Compressors the most efficiently. It's not like Archie Stoys, where you'd love to use like three Compressors turn one. We don't quite have that kind of... Uh, yeah, we don't use them that efficiently, unfortunately. It would be really nice if we use them a little bit more efficiently, but it just doesn't happen. I'm gonna grab the Necrozma, and this gives us like a free pivot to constantly work with every single turn with that invasion ability. We can invasion to the active, retreat, reuse something like the Gale Thrust, stuff like that. 
And on this quick ball, I'm going to grab that Urshifu V to try and get into another Urshifu V Max as soon as possible. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's really nice to have the uh, the Necrozma around to constantly reset uh, Gale Thrust or such stuff like that in general. Um, we don't have an energy yet, so I'm going to start with the Order Pad. We did get ahead, so we can grab Computer Search or we can grab the Energy Lotto. And I'm leaning towards just grabbing Computer Search. Just go ahead and guarantee it. Yeah, we're just go ahead and grab computer search and then we're just gonna get rid of the trainer's mail here propagate and then computer search away trainer's mail and the egg grab ourselves the <laughs> rapid strike energy just go ahead and hit for 150 and that's gonna be it for our first turn i don't feel the need to do anything else once again i don't know what exactly what my opponent's playing but here we go invasion retreat smack for 150 and we'll get a better idea of what our opponent's playing here on this next turn if they are playing the i mean i don't think even if they're playing the item lock uh hmm, i guess the only thing i'd be afraid of is decidui uh because it's a rattle little executor deck they do sometimes play decidui here comes the bridget so we'll see exactly what they got going on yeah we don't actually have an answer for decidui no decidui here so far uh, we can get around i was about to say the basics can't attack vile plume would be really annoying as well but that is actually something we can deal with <clears throat> item lock is of course is always going to be annoying <clears throat> so if they got item lock that'll be annoying but to be honest i'm not that worried about that it's not that big of a deal i don't think here we go again we're just gonna go ahead invasion and attack i kind of just want to save the ace Arola. there's no reason for us to like play too aggressively just hold the ace Arola. we're still attacking every single turn our opponent is doing absolutely nothing no energy in play. The other Urshifu V is a great prize card to pull here because now we can Ace Arola this Urshifu into the <clears throat> out of the active, uh, evolve it to this one, and then we have another Urshifu to work with to get into another V Max. That's why we play the Urshifu Vs. We do mustard out this first V Max to get really aggressive on our first turn, but then from there, uh, we do go through the good old uh, evolving route where we just evolve our Pokemon just like uh, most other decks do. Um, and that's it. Yeah, we haven't seen... There's a couple other cards that they could play in here. A couple other stage twos that they play in here sometimes. The other Vile Plume, of course, but then there's sometimes Decidueye and sometimes Rillaboom. They didn't search either of those out, though, so it makes you think that they don't play either of them. And there's the Concede. I'm not surprised. We are set up really well for the situation. Um, Yeah, we got the really good turn one off. If they had gone second and turn one item locked us, like they probably should have, we probably would have lost. But they let us... They chose to go first, letting us go second, and... uh clean setup easy dub all right here we go again let's see if we can't all right we won the coin flip so we will go second this time we don't need our opponent to let us go second we just get to go ahead and pick it and our opening hand is we're just a little short of the turn one uh but we're pretty close what should we have to like give up a rapid strike energy yeah we're not quite there yet um yeah we are we're a little short here so we're gonna see what this trainer's mail gives trainer's mail gives us um, and see what our top deck is. Both, either of those cards could be uh, enough to get us the turn one. We don't need a whole lot right now to get there. Just need a little bit. Bolton. So we are up against Garam of some sort. We can actually win turn one here. That's not going to be a whole ton of help. Let's check the trainer's mail. Um, so if we grab the quick ball, we could go Ultra Ball away, N, and Rapid Strike grab the urshifu quick ball away so i think quick ball is what we're going for here yeah ultra ball away these two grab the urshifu v max quick ball that away probably grab the dawn wings we don't have to grab the dawn wings um we only have two bench bases left to work with but that's enough for Dene and crobat but i don't but i also need room for coco so i might have to go to Dene crobat and then coco afterwards so i don't think i'm actually going to take anything here i'm just going to fail that bench attach and then mustard out the urshifu v max and as long as the wide lens i didn't check for the wide lens but as long as it's in the deck we can just win turn one we have the turn one rapid flow we're we'll going to play the compressor and just see what's in the deck left we could go a little bit further though is the wide lens the wide lens is here so we're going for we're gonna go for that turn one knock with that turn one win so we're gonna get rid of these and i think just these just those wide lenses in the deck so we're gonna go for it we give up the dawn wings here which is like fine though i don't think that's that big of a deal we're gonna go for crobat first uh because we can draw six with it now whereas with oh we're not quite there yet we do have coco so 
more battle compressors. Gonna get rid of uh, all our supporters, uh, the Lele. We need a, a big hit off the trainer's mail. We could just pull it off the trainer's mail and that would work just fine. Gonna get rid of one of the other VMAXs, the battle compressor, and I don't think we need the silent lab, so I think I might just go ahead and get rid of that as well. They don't really play Mew in this deck and ideally we win this turn, so it shouldn't matter. Let's get rid of these three. Play the trainer's mail. No wide lens, unfortunate. Okay, so we didn't get the turn one win. Uh, we don't have to win turn one. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that target whistle, I guess, because we already have a Via Seeker in the hand. <clears throat> Pop the Coco. And then I guess we'll just have to settle for a Gale Thrust. Yeah, we needed a Quick Ball, an Ultra Ball, a Computer Search, the Wide Lens, uh, and then we would have been able to Dead A Change. Who knows if we would have been able to get it off the Dead A Change, but you never know, right? We could have been able to get it. So definitely want to go for it. Didn't work out. There's a Quick Ball, not the one we're looking for. A little bit late. Um, but we're still in a really good spot here. I think we're still like set up to basically win this game i don't see how our opponent can make a uh i mean they're playing pikaram and there's the concede <laughs> so we don't win turn one but our opponent doesn't play anything past their uh go ahead and send up and pass so we basically won in one turn there and another dub all right here we go again we are going first so once again we're going to choose to go second or we did win the coin flip but we're going to choose to go second that would have been a pretty good hand not gonna lie that was a pretty good hand it had the wide lens in it which wasn't great because we wouldn't be able to put that in play only if we would need it. We're not for sure guaranteed to want to need it, but um, I would not have minded this hand overall because it did have the turn one pretty cleanly in it as long as we didn't like prize double mustard or anything like that. That's always pretty unlikely. So, okay, well, let's get a new one. All our hands are usually like, the deck is just built to pull it off. So it's not unlikely that we'll be able to get it in another hand. This hand is not as good and actually currently can't pull off the turn one mustard play. So we're looking at a top deck or probably having to dead a change here. Because we definitely don't want to not attack turn one. If we put this, uh, well, we can't put this anywhere, actually. We can't even attack, attach it to our egg. And opening our egg, of course, kind of stinks because we don't get egg for the rest of the game. Theoretically, bronze or start from our opponent. So some kind of bronzong box type deck, I guess, here from our opponent. There's only two basics in play. Here comes the Battle Compressor. So, turn one, uh, G Max Rapid Flow could clean this one up really quickly here. Let's see uh, what our opponent compressors, and let's see if they put down another Pokemon or not. Some kind of Bronzong deck here for sure. Bronzong Box. Bronzong. Yeah, Bronzong Box is all I can really think about that this would be. This makes the most sense of that's what this would be. Some kind of Bronzong Box type deck. Um. We'll see what the compressor grabs. And now, is it the new Bronzong or is it, what is the other one called? Metal Links or something like that? Whismur. All right, here comes the data change. All right, so we're not winning at turn one here. There was Rainbow. All right, so it's definitely the new Bronzong to just move the special energy around. I don't know why they want to attach one of them then, though. I don't know what they're waiting on there. Unless it is the other Bronzong and then the Aurora and the Rainbows are to attach to combo with different types of Pokemon, I guess, would be the only other thing I can think about here. That could be the what they're trying to pull off here. I mean, there's a guard for and uh, there's guard for and Sylveon now. I don't even know what to expect anymore. Okay, uh, there's a guardian. Um, quick ball away the egg. Let's get some more information on what our opponent has going on here. Guardian is not something I expected, but there it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's guardian. Here comes the quick ball. They grab themselves a crowbat, so they're going deeper. I don't know what I'm curious as to what they're looking for here. That they would uh keep going here with the draw power the draw support that's fine with me though we can theoretically win in two turns here we can ko bronze or ko ditto into ko Dedenne, ko crobat yeah and just win in in two turns that would be fine with me another compressor what are they going to get rid of this time i do want as much info as possible here so i can make potentially a better play um okay let's take a look at that grimer and trevenant Dusknor. Uh, Grimer and Trevenant Dusknor. I'm lost on that. Yep. Uh, so it, it's just some kind of... Uh, I still don't know. <clears throat> there goes an end to the discard pile as well. All right. Maybe we'll get another thing here that'll, once again, give us a little bit more info. Electrode GX. Okay, so it's an Electrode. So this is new Bronzong plus Electrode, and then they can move the energy around with the new Bronzong. Uh, and Electrode is how they get the energy into play. Okay, I get it now. It makes sense. 
All right, let's see if we can go ahead and take it down, though. Definitely want to go KO Bronzor, KO Ditto. Okay, they're not done yet. <laughs> they're still not done. Another Quick Bolt, probably to grab themselves. Yeah, I was going to say a Voltorb. A Voltorb here, so that way if I KO'd Ditto or Voltorb, they could still have the other one. But we're going to try and KO both here. Try and KO Voltorb and Ditto, so they can't get any extra energy in play next turn. Uh, and then we can just hopefully pull very far ahead because of that. All right. now we can maybe make it work ultra ball away these two ultra ball away these two quick ball away that okay so now we have it in the hand so i want to go for the coco play so we want to get rid of like double lightning um we already have the mustard in the hand so is it like we get rid of double lightning it's like uh do we even get rid of anything else maybe it's a battle compressor i want to keep the supporters in the deck because we still have lele so we have access to them through lele um, I guess I'll hit like another compressor and then discard the other stuff later. But I like, this is all I want to get rid of. I think then we're going to go ultra ball away. These two quick ball away. This grab baby Urshifu plus the Coco prism. And then we're going to play the mustard. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's go for it. Ultra ball away. These two grab ourselves the Coco prism. We'll grab Urshifu and then mustard. All right stinks to lose a rapid strike energy of course but uh it's really not that big of a deal i don't think urshifu the three in there special charge and lotto are in the deck as well they should hopefully be able to find another rapid strike energy after the Dene. okay at first i thought we were out of draw support we got plenty of stuff to do though so probably gonna grab the float stone here float to the egg and then go ahead and did I change? Still have another V Max in the deck as well. There is the energy, so we're good to go here. Attach, pop the Coco, and then we're gonna be able to snipe Ditto and Voltorb, and leave our opponent in a pretty questionable spot. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as I can tell, they won't be able to attack the turn. And like I said, on our following turn, we can float stunner active. We can wide lens our. Uh, Urshifu V, put the wide lens on our Urshifu V, and we can just knock out Crobat and Dedenne and just win the game on the next turn already. So we're already in a spot where we can already win next turn. Uh, we'll see what actually happens. Here comes an end for my opponent, so we'll have to work through that. Um, I could have put one of the flow stones here. I didn't want to, though, because the field blower, tool scrapper, or field blower. Um, we see they play at least one, they probably play two or three. So I didn't want to throw that down like that. Um, special charge is a great hit because we do need to put some energy back into our deck. And they give us access to Skyfield. Um, really opening up our bench, giving us a lot more potential to draw cards. And that's good for us as well. I might go ahead and just mustard again out another VMAX to have access to that. Um, eh, we might just actually just go with Crobat, to be honest. Could mustard, could Crobat. Uh, I wish they had find though. If the Wide Lens is in the deck, actually. I didn't check for the Wide Lens. It might not be in there. And if it's not, we'll definitely have to switch up <clears throat> what we snipe this turn. But we could just snipe the Voltorb plus the Bronzong. And then next turn, KO a Crobat or the Dedene. And then just win that way that would just be 100 percent fine as well it really depends on uh what our opponent gets out here and our opponent could be playing something like a mr mime or a mew or something like that and could stop us from being able to snipe their bench and i think i did discard my nope my silent lab's still in there actually so we could still make it work but if they fill up their bench big enough they will be able to discard like dene and crobat or something like that they actually discarded i think they discarded a cherish ball there did not search with it that's interesting either they could get something and bench it or they could have they could have gotten something and benched it or they could have gotten something and discarded it either way it seems like it would, be, would have been better to grab something with the cherish ball but maybe they have no good targets left they get their second attachment to the guardian so it can attack next turn technically guardian could attack us next turn i'm not really too worried about that there's an egg grab so they're going to back no egg to the bench oh do they have a field blower no there's running to the egg okay that makes sense okay Let's see if what do we top deck order pad. So I'm gonna start with let's start with the order pad. Ails, special charge. Throw those in, um, and then we have to go with the ultra ball, right? Yeah, ultra ball. Grab ourselves that crowbat. Ooh, we don't have. Okay, the wide lens is there, so we need wide lens, floatstone, V max. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Crobat for six. 
got the energy got the float stone got the v max so we're just the wide lens away let's see here um my last float stone so i think we're gonna quick ball it away grab ourselves urshifu v and then lele for the juniper and they just conceded they didn't even just want to handle another g max rapid float we could have won this turn I don't know if we would have gotten the wide lens or not. It was in the deck. Who knows, right? We had decent odds. I think we had computer search left, some trainer mail, some order pads. So we definitely could have got there. My opponent concedes before we get the opportunity. But guys, that is the Urshifu Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max expanded deck. It's super fun. Like I said, I don't really know how great it is. Um, like we can get off that G Max Rapid Flow turn one, but then from there, I mean, things can get a little bit weird. Or if we just can't pull that off, things will definitely get a little bit weird. But it's definitely a really cool idea, concept, build, whatever. So I recommend you guys check it out and like the video. And I'll see you tomorrow.